The first event that I want to go over is a <coughs> sexual assault that occurred in the 3600 of Boulevard at the Spanish Breeze Apartments on Wednesday night at about 1.20 in the morning. Closed circuit television shows the suspects, one black male 16 and one black male 18, driving to the property in their vehicle. They park their vehicle and start to walk the property looking for open balcony doors. They see an open balcony door, enter the apartment complex through the balcony, and go into the bedroom where the complainants are. They pull them out of the bedroom at gunpoint. They make them kneel. They start to stack property that they intend to take. They take money from the complainant's wallet. Once they take the money from the complainant's wallet, they walk them downstairs at gunpoint, put them in a car, drive them to a nearby ATM, and force them to take money out of the ATM. Probably 15 minutes later, they return to the apartment complex. They walk the male toward the breezeway going back upstairs. The second suspect stays in the car with the female complainant. Once near the breezeway, the male complainant begins to fight for his life. During the course of the fight, the male complainant is shot in the hip. He does manage to take the gun from the 16-year-old complainant, I'm, I'm sorry, suspect. The suspect then fled the location and ran back down to the car to the second complainant and the, the second female complainant and the second suspect. Neighbors hear the commotion and call police. The second suspect and the first suspect, with the complainant in the back seat, leaves the location. About 45 minutes later, we get a call in the 6600 block of Starlet. The complainant has been released following being criminally sexually assaulted. We return to the location at the apartment complex, talk to the complainant, then we accompany her to the hospital. Detectives started to work on the case at that point. About 12 o'clock noon on yesterday, we were able to pull a print off a business card that had came out of the complainant's wallet. We identified the suspect as a juvenile. We have our fugitive unit and our fast team working to secure an arrest against this particular juvenile at this point. Again, anytime violence happens to anybody, it's tragic, but we're sleeping in our bed at one o'clock in the morning, we feel as though we're safe. This is another call to make sure that we do a couple of things, and that's make sure that we're locking our doors. If we can invest in an alarm, a panic alarm, that's something that we should do. We need to make sure that we know our neighbors, and our neighbors need to make sure when they see something, they say something. By what? Calling the police. With our hopes, with hoping that we are able to arrest this suspect immediately for the citizens that's living in that part of town. Again, like I said, this is a, a call to action for the community.